How's everybody doing? Uh, Fred with Cutting Edge Window Tinting. Uh, just showing you a quick pointer of how we prepare the back window on these Chrysler 300s. Uh, everybody knows they have a little bit of thicker, thicker defroster lines, so you got to take a little bit extra time in preparing them. So first what we do is we spray the whole thing down. The solution right here we have, uh, uh, it's alcohol, a little bit of soap, 90% uh, isopropyl alcohol, a little bit of uh, dishwasher soap and water. Uh, let it sit there for a little bit, just let it uh, uh, soak in a little bit and then we come back and then we scrub it. So after letting this sit there for a while, uh, we take some uh, some steel wool basically do the whole window along those defroster lines uh, making sure you clean up all basically what this does is it cleans up all that crud that's on there that makes those lines extra thick and and fat make sure you go I like to go both ways I know some people only go one way or the other way I like to go both ways uh, take it nice and even do have a have a plan to do all the top ones and then scoot down to the bottom ones and all that kind of stuff so that way you, so you don't miss any uh, it's definitely a workout but it's a must so you can have a you know a good install so we go along through all of these so after we do all that and get it all uh, scrubbed with our uh, steel wool then I like to take a towel and go over it just to pick up any little particles this is not the final stage I just like to do this just to you know, try to pick up any loose stuff that has come off of there which you guys will see anyways as you're scrubbing it then we go ahead and we start preparing it as usual again with our regular solution take our regular uh, soap scrub pad and then go ahead and start preparing it that way So after prepping it uh, the way we usually do, like you guys saw, um, this is the outcome. We laid it down. This has been on there for about an hour already. Been sitting here in the shop uh, just to make sure that nothing pops up. But it uh, looks pretty clean. No issues. We don't have any peanuts coming up. So overall, uh, that helps. Another thing that I like to tell people is uh, usually whenever you shrink it, uh, the way you shrink it is the way you want to lay it down on that bag glass. So if you go, if you shrink it, if you lay your line down the middle, and then you shrink down, 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 and then up, 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 up. Usually the way when we lay it down, also the same thing, lay it on the inside, squeegee that way, one line down the middle, that way, one line down the middle, then straight down, 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 straight down, down, up, 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 up. And then, uh, you know, your final squeegee after you got it all pretty much generally all laid down. Then we go ahead and then we go pretty much every which way to make sure that we get all that water out. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it's pretty clean install. Uh, feel free to share uh, any other techniques that you guys might have to help anybody out uh, doing these Chryslers or uh, uh, any, any Dodge vehicle that is notorious for those back windows. All right, guys. Thank you.